Hello everyone, today I want to introduce to you to a, a Git repo I created that has over 100 um, sample interview questions for Terraform. Some of them I've been asked myself, some of them I've asked other interviews myself. Terraform, as you know, is a core component of any DevOps um, stack these days. Um, CloudFormation is just um, not as popular as Terraform. Uh, the flexibility of Terraform is much uh, better, code is easy to read, so on and so forth. Um, lots of enterprise and startup companies have adopted Terraform. So mo there's a really high chance that you'd be asked about Terraform in DevOps slash SRE interviews. So um, I want to walk you through a few questions just to get, get so you get a test of it. I will leave a link to this repo in the description below. Uh, for example, uh, one of the more common problems that people face in using Terraform in real life is when you have many members of the development team using the same infrastructure, say Google Cloud or Amazon and whatnot, how do you control, uh, have control over what code is getting out there, how, how do you avoid conflicts, uh, in general, how do you have a consistency across the board? There's a question that people ask in interviews a lot of times. There's some simple answers here that you can give. Uh, second question I have here is if you have multiple people in the team and something gets changed in the cloud, how do you track it back to who did this and when it was done? Uh, you can actually do that in CloudTrail. Uh, there's an equivalent in GCP. But anyway, that question conceptually is a good one because it makes you think about how you would control your, uh, your infrastructure. The third one I have is if you were using a module, for example, which is very common, and you would, in what, over time, you would improve the module, but then the, the, the code that you had before is already being used by some other Terraform code. So how do you manage that? Uh, turns out you can version your module. So when you were when you were using a module, be sure to to specify what version of the module you're using because if you're not, then it's going to pull the latest, and your code and the state file is going to get all messed up. So the questions like that, there most of these are from real life scenarios that people people face, and I have faced myself. So I hope this video was useful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe. That helps me, and I will see you next time.